So I was looking at the computer on the screen and see what I should uh, try to answer or reply. No, I will not plan it. I will just uh, say something that uh, that come to my mind and just naturally blah, blah, blah. First thing, my hair is, uh, is showing up, these white roots. And uh, I, I didn't want to do this video for a long time. Another reason is that the white root showed up. And uh, then I was thinking the other day I saw uh, on WeChat, there was one lady, a French lady. She was doing some fashion design and uh, and uh, uh, fashion magazine editing, and uh, she had to make herself look perfect and young. And when she retired, she decided, okay, I just want to be myself. She stopped dyeing her hair and uh, she dressed up she's already very fashionable and she took a lot of picture of herself that dressed up with uh, with this very very the most extremely cool and uh, original and um, and the natural and with the hair half gray salt and pepper half black or half dyed and half not dyed it's just so beautiful. I was thinking that must be a new trend. And if it is not a new trend, we must make it a new trend. That half of the hair is natural hair, salt and pepper or white or whatever color. And then half of the, the, the hair is uh, a dyed color because we regain our self-confidence and conscious and decide to, to, to just be ourselves. And that is so beautiful and so powerful. I do not, I am still not yet uh, have that confidence. Tomorrow I will dye my hair. And uh, I just, uh, I do not feel yet to that stage. And uh, talking about the beauty of, uh, of trueness, of naturalness, of origin, of genuine beauty. Yesterday, I went to my son's teachers back to school and uh, high school. And the teachers was just amazing. Amazing because, because they are so original. And they tell the story. They tell about themselves from their heart. One teacher said, I am, a, I am an absolute procrastinator. And he was a very smart, and uh, he was kind of uh, the, the, the idol for my son. He was so cool and make jokes and doing things, and just so real person. And another teacher that immediately got my admiration because she talks something that's so true and so natural. And that everyone, everyone, I think we are attractive. We are beautiful. The first thing is that we have confidence in being ourselves. The genuity, the trueness, I do not know how to pronounce that word, the genuine Sincer sincerity, genuity in ourself is the most powerful character of ourself. And um, why do we bother to try to be another person when we can make the best of ourselves? Do I make sense? So I am me, just to be me and make the best of, uh, of me. That's good. I know my problem, I solve my problem, and I keep the good things of myself, right? I am not organized, so that I can understand people who is not organized. And uh, I try to solve those problems. So this year's New Year resolution, I want to make myself the most comfy, the most um, happy, happiest, and the most uh, efficient, effective. So to start it, 
I bought this glasses chain. I wear the glass and then my husband said, oh, that looks, that looks like old, but it makes me so efficient. And I like this design. It's just a perfect. It's perfect. My action number one. And uh, I bought this pair of pants, just comfortable and so comfortable and so easy to move. There is a front pocket and back pocket. I can put my cell phone, put some money, put something, put a piece of paper on my back pocket and put something in the front pocket. It makes my life so much easier. When there is a very well thought design, it makes life so easy. When you see this kind of good design, and also just by, by hazard, by chance, it's pretty, buy it, do not hesitate. And buy it when it is on sale. Yes, I bought it on sale. I, I, I still could not <laughs> bear the thoughts to buy something just because it's pretty. I have to get, I have my rubric not expensive, on sale, comfortable, and fashionable, and do, 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 do. when it meets everything, it's made in heaven. It's an engagement made in heaven. I have to accept it. I have to take it. So <clears throat> I make myself comfortable, and uh, I decide to wake up. The price is that uh, I could not sleep in the night, but I woke up in the morning, and uh, I, I, I went to school early enough to prepare myself to make myself in the right mood and then I put my car in the in the faraway parking lot and then I bike to to the parking lot and I can leave the place I can leave the parking space to my colleague I feel I am doing the good things, I am doing good things, and it makes me feel happy, it makes me feel positive, it just makes me feel everything right. Yes, and also about the class. So the class started, some class not good, some class good. I had one class just not good, and I was disappointed, I feel you feel you made the effort, nothing turns out to be good. It's either because um, the arrangement or because of your own uh, lack of uh, preparation or because of, uh, of whatever reason it did not turn out. And then the other day I had another class and turns out to be good. So I was depressed the very first day and then the second day, I was uh, very happy. Is is kata is ka ikastic? Anyway, I forgot. I was very happy, and with this, because I had a bad day, then I deserve a happy day the next day. Anyway, so after these two experiences, I start to sit down and think. First, I have to thank for the first bad class. Because without a bad class, you will not earn a good class. That was the price to pay for having a good class, number one. And also, number two, through a bad class, through a fail, through an unexperienced, unexp an unsuccessful experience, it can only lead you to better success, leads you something better. When something went as low as it can be, there is no way you can go any lower. What can you do? You can be only better. You can be only better than that, higher than that. So. When something went wrong, went so wrong, went to the worst of the worst, the worst of it can be the lowest of it, low it as, as low as it can be. 
it is the time to start to bounce back. So I, my experience from my class, and also I received some friends' comments and friends telling my stories, and it's just touched my heart and telling me that um, life did not turn out well, people betray you or people for whatever reason just could not could not keep the promise, could not um, work out, things does not work out. You put your heart and soul and everything prepare for that person, for that thing. And finally, it may be because of that person, it may be because that thing, it did not turn out. Because sooner or later, we will be tested. If you are tested today, if you are tried today, you will not be tried tomorrow. You are the favored one to be chosen by heaven to test you because heaven wants you to give you, heaven wants to give you a better life after this. You know, there is a God of trouble and there are so many people in this world the God of trouble is very busy. They need to allocate and distribute the troubles, the problems to each, every person. And they have chosen you this time. The God of trouble has chosen, chosen you this time. It is very likely that next time he will not choose you because he need to be fair to choose the other people to give trouble. I don't know. I don't know. Just. Uh, just uh, never lose your faith in life. Be good, be nice. Sometimes the world is not good, the world is not nice, and things are not nice. That's other people. That's things around you, outside your own world. You need to believe in what you believe. If you if you believe in goodness, kindness, stick to it. Do good things, be kind, be good. At the end, it will be fair. And uh, another, t another friend asked me about uh, uh, traveling, so I will talk about this traveling. I think I will do uh, a separate video and uh, chop it up. But I may combine these two. 